Hi, this video is going to be on anchor bolts. So, I've just created this anchor bolt. These are inch and three quarter bolts. And I wanted to extend them and put another nut on the top. So, I just did it. So, I figured why not do it again with the inch and a half. It's not what I need for this project, but I'm going to change. So, let me just rotate so you can see this is what we got. All right. So, our orbit, sorry. Uh, so, let's go into this connection. And we can see what options we have. So, we go to base plate, anchor holes. We have a nut and a washer, and a two nut and two washers. So, that's two nuts, two washers either side of the plate. That's not what they require for this job. So, what we need to do is we need to go into this anchor. So we want to open our management tools, which is here. And we're going to go to threaded anchors, which is where we are. The US threaded extended. So you can see this, this one I'm using over here. This one is, I've extended it by making the top distance six and a half instead of three and a half. So I've only edited the three foot six one. So I would also need to edit these other two in order to allow this to work when I change sizes. But for now, we're going to worry about the inch and a half one. So let's go to the inch and a half. Uh, there it is. So let's click on the inch and a half. And now you can see these are the three types we're allowed to use. We can add more if we want. So we want to go to the set. So it's a nut and washer, and it's going to have the two nut and washers. So two nut, two washers, not that one. This one here is also available. So there's a nut, then a washer, then there's a washer below the plate, and then there's a nut, and then there's a nut all the way at the bottom. So now I want to create another one so I'm going to create, I need to create one for this inch and a half bolt. I have this one, if I, if, I, if you can see this one, it has nothing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a knot and it's going to be ASTMA563 grade 10 9 and it's going to be inch and a half apply. Now I'm going to add another nut, so add another nut, type ASTM, again, same nut, let's double up on the nuts, apply, then I'm going to put a washer below that, on top of the plate, so I'm going to be a washer, and it's going to be the ASTM's F436 diameter, inch and a half. So now I have two nuts and a washer. And then I want to put one knot down here on the bottom. And one knot, same again. And inch and a half. And then apply. And then also click on the apply button over here. So that should apply this set which I've created to this bolt, the inch and a half bolt. And this is what I've created myself. So now, what I want to do is, if I don't change the top distance, this is going to be affected. So, let me just go in here. What we'll do is we'll update these settings and you can see what happens. We'll go to Advanced Giant Properties. And we'll go into, sorry, Base Plate, Anchors, Holes. 36 and should be two nuts, two washers. It's not available. So let's. Because we're in the wrong anchor type, right? So let's go to the right anchor type. Um, thread it extended. There's your two nuts, two washers. But you can see my threaded rod is not sticking out through the top of the nut. It looks like it just goes as far as the top of the plate when you look at it here. 
but it's really coming up here and they just don't show it so what I'm going to do is go back in here and then I'm going to change this top distance to six in each of these and that will just drag my rod up three inches further and should extend out the top so that should be good we'll do apply close that update here go advanced joint properties base plate anchors and holes and if we just click on the inch and a half again let's switch it over back there you go now you can see it's extended up the other three inches so now you're good to go and the next time you want this will be available to you now i just need this one i just created that second one just to show you guys hope that helps all right take care